Yay, we're here. I'm so excited. Hey. Hi. I'm going to go play with the kids. It's the best time okay. Oh, and uh, I'm just going to go speak to someone over there. If there'll be snow I guess we're the only ones left. Chill. I guess so. Do you want to have a walk around the garden? Sure. Let's go. And when you walk down the, street, the flowers are so beautiful. They really are, aren't they? They used to be my mom's favorite. And everyone really? Yeah, but she passed away when I was eight. Oh, They're the only thing I have left of her. Where you can see oh, I'm so sorry. How'd she pass away? In a plane crash. And I picked these out for you. I'm really glad you came today. Christmas hasn't been the same since my mom passed away, but you've changed that. That's so sweet. There's one more thing. I want to ask you something. What number did you get today? I got two hours. She keeps getting two hours. How's she ever going to learn anything? Just be patient. The right day will come. What number did you get today? Still two hours. It's okay though. I'm used to it. I need to get to school. I'm trying to catch up on some work. Okay, bye. Love you. Love you too. Amara, can you answer the next question, please? Looks like our time I ran out. As always. Anyways, moving on. <gasps> Mom, I got infinity! Oh no, don't let anyone find out. Trust me, this is bad. I wish Amara could hear us. I never get to talk to her much. Speaking of hearing, did you know about the infinity thing? There's two people that get it. No, I don't. They both get some kind of power. Everyone's talking about it. Definitely find. I'm impatient. Mom, I'm going to school. I'll find out who my soulmate is next week. You chose find? At night. Alone, of course. What? Nothing. I've always loved surprises. Home. We're heading to the airport. Vacation for our anniversary. Today? We told you about this three days ago. Anyways, I've already made you food. I put it in the fridge. Have fun. Today? Why not? No, the location. It seems safer. That's a dead ass phone. What are you, like Paul? It belonged to my dead mom. Asshole. Amara, are you coming to that party tonight? One second. I'll be right back. Okay, class, I hope you're ready for the test. Miss, Amara's on her phone. Just leave me alone, will you? So who's really texting you? I don't know. Someone's definitely trying to prank me. Why don't you just look it up on the news? I don't even know when this happened. Hey, give me your phone. Oh my... What? What did you find? They're having buy one, get one free on Starbucks. Can we just take this serious from... Wait. What? Did you just say buy one, get one free? Let's that coffee was amazing. Right? Okay, let's be serious now. We need to find out so what happened to her. I suggest we look at murder cases and see if there's any victims with the same surname as you. Oh my gosh, I found something. So, there was a case in 1999. A girl was tortured by her crazy mom. She killed her and dumped her somewhere in the forest. The police still hasn't found the body. Okay, but how do we know that's my sister? That's the thing, we don't. Is there any more information? I mean, apparently her mom has a big birthmark on her arm. So does my mom. Okay, this is starting to get creepy. You're gonna live way longer than me. I don't think so. Okay, three, two, one. I got 50 years! Don't just look at me. How many years did you get? I got four years. Oh, I really thought you'd get more than me. On the bright side, I still have you. I love your hoodie. Aw, thanks. I wish I could get one. I only have one day left. You know what? Here, have it. Wait, for real? Of course. I can just get another one. Thank you so much. Weren't you just wearing a hoodie? Yeah, but um, I gave it away. Why? Because I wanted to be nice. Hey, mom, why did I get infinity years? Everyone else got less. Sorry, honey, but I don't know. You're lucky, though. She asked me why she got infinity years today. I didn't know what to say. You think she knows? I have to tell her eventually. So, what did you want to tell me? You weren't supposed to know anything. Just tell her. Yo, I beg you stop looking at me. I wasn't even looking at you. Nobody wants to look at you. 
Miss, chat to your student. She's bed jarring. Amara, be nice. It's his first day. Well, he's clearly got issues. Shh, you're distracting the whole class. <sighs> Whatever. Move yourself. I'm trying to put my books on the table. Do you know what? I'm not even going to feed this. Why are you so vexed for? I'm just trying to make friends. That's a funny way to make friends. You've literally been so rude to me all day. Okay, everyone, pack your stuff. Class is finished. <sighs> Finally. Hey, wait. What do you want? I'm sorry for being rude to you, innit? I've just had a long day. Thanks for apologizing. I know this is random, but how many times have you cried throughout your life? That's such a moist question, in a bit. How was sitting next to Henry? He's so weird. I just hope he's not my soulmate. What makes you think that? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. I need to make him cry. Oh, what choice did you get? A new car. That's amazing. You have to take it. No, I'm going to give it to someone in need. I don't even have a driving license yet. You're getting a brand new house. You'd be stupid if you didn't take it. I already have somewhere to live. I don't need the house. Someone out there needs it more than me. Oh my gosh, look at your choices. That's a lot of money. What is wrong with you? You keep declining everything. I have enough money to live. Some people don't even have enough for food. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. You could have given that money to me. Hey, Mara, we're going shopping. You want to come? Oh, I forgot. You gave all your money away, so now you're just broke. Maybe I shouldn't have given all that money away. Excuse me, you're Amara, right? We've received all your gifts and now we want to repay you. What? I have to choose between knowing my mom's location or my grandma's location. Since my grandma likes to disappear a lot, I'll choose her. Honey, I'm going to the market. Take care of your grandma while I'm gone, okay? Okay, she'll be fine with me. Grandma! Wait, why isn't she in her room? Where is she? Why at the door? I can't let her run away again. Where are you going, Grandma? I'm scared of your mom. Why are you scared of my mom? Grandma wants to go away. Don't tell your mom, okay? But Grandma! You're a good granddaughter, all right? <sighs> all right. I won't say anything. Why isn't Grandma here? Did you see her? Grandma ran away from home. We have to find Grandma before Mom finds <gasps> okay. her. Okay, good thing I already know her location, so it won't be that hard to find her, right? Try check again. Where is she now? It says graveyard. What? Grandma can't go to the graveyard. Why not? What happens if she goes to the graveyard? Your Grandma can be... Please be a good name. Oh, I can't accept that. Everyone will treat me different because of my name. Morning, honey. Did you get your name yet? I got the name Princess, but I didn't accept it. What? Why? Because I didn't want anyone to treat me different because of my name. Are you crazy? What if you don't get another chance? Mom, relax. Tomorrow I'll get another opportunity. I hope so. From now on, you can call me Claire. Claire? It actually suits you a lot. Yeah, I love it. What name did you get? I didn't like the name I got, so I refused it. I hope I get a good name this time. Poor? Of course I'm not going to accept it. Everyone's going to make fun of me at school. Honey, did you accept today's name? Of course not, Mum. I don't want to be called poor. If you keep refusing, you won't get a name and you'll never find a soulmate. Yeah, Mum, I get it. Can you just leave me alone? Tomorrow they'll give me another name. Please, it's my last chance. Give me a good name. Mummy, what's wealth? You'll understand when you're older, honey. Okay. Hey, I'm really low on cash today. You want to hang out? Sure. You're the best. I can't believe I just found 200 pounds today. You want to go get food? I would, but my mom probably wants me home. See ya. Bye. Hey, Amara, will you borrow me 20 pounds? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Hey, can I borrow a ton? I promise I'll give it back. Can't you, like, just go outside and find some cash? Hey. Hi. I should have known. This whole time you were using me for money. Excuse me. Let me guess. Here to beg for money? Actually, as someone who also attracts wealth, I have more than enough. Who are you? I'm just like you. You can't use your powers here because they cast a spell on this prison cell. This is insane. First I get taken by the government and now a spell? How do we get out? Well, there's only one way. You need to give up your powers. But I don't understand. Why wouldn't they want me to keep my powers? They don't want us to be more powerful than them. Makes sense. Well, I'm not giving up my powers. I'm not going to let them win. I need to find a way to get us out. How about we set fire to this place, they'll be forced to free us, and we'll use our power to get back home. That sounds crazy. No, doesn't sound crazy at all. We're doing it tonight. Somebody help! There's a fire! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it worked. We did it. Let's get out of here. I'm not in prison, I'm at home. Mom?
You almost hit my face. It's comfy. I like it. I think I should send him something unique so I can find him quick. Let's see. This bucket hat. The only person who's ever in this with my grandpa. Nice hoodie. Thanks. Oh my god, it's him! What's she freaking out for? Haven't you heard? There's this influencer that's starting in our school. An influencer? Yeah, he has millions of followers. Shoot, I'm late for class. Uh, you're wearing my hoodie. And you're wearing my grandpa's hat. That only means one thing. Thank me later. Are you serious? He deserves it. But the next one's in 20 minutes. It's your first day and you're late. I'm sorry. Class, please say hi to our new student. Hello, everyone. I just chose for my soulmate to be late. You think it's him? I don't know. I'm gonna have to find out. Easy. I'll just look for his profile. Let's find my soulmate. Mommy, what's this? You can choose to either be dating or married when you're 20. I want to be married. Why do I have this plaster on my finger? It's not coming off. Finally, I'm not single anymore. I also found myself a boyfriend. Amara, what about you? Are you still single? Everyone already has a Ever boyfriend. Ever since I got this thing on my finger, no one likes me anymore. Oh, I hope you find a boyfriend soon. Me too. But what even is that on your finger? Is it a plaster? Yeah, I can only remove it when I'm 20. Hey, Amara, you also have that on your finger? Yeah, I do. Yours also doesn't come off? No, only when I turn 20. Oh my gosh, that's so soon. Your birthday's tomorrow, right? Yeah. Happy birthday, Amara. It's time for you to take the plaster off. Yeah, I'm so nervous. It's my first tooth fell out. Aww, you're growing up so fast. Don't forget to put it under your pillow so the tooth fairy can come and give you some money. Okay. Thank God she's asleep. Okay, let's do this. Wait, where's the tooth? Morning. Did you remember to put your tooth on the pillow last night? Yes, I did, and I saw the tooth fairy. You did? I mean... Of course you did. Mum, did you put money on the Lily's pillow last night? No, I thought you did. This is so strange. What's on the news today? It has been reported that another six-year-old child has been found dead with all of her teeth pulled out. Before her death, she had seen the tooth fairy. Lily! See, I told you the tooth fairy was Lily? real. Lily, back away. That's not the tooth fairy. I got a ten. Hey! Oh my gosh, I got an 8. I'm so happy for you. What did you get? I kept mine private. A number doesn't define who I am. Hey guys! Uh, what are you doing? What do you mean? You can't sit with us unless you're 8 and above. Seriously? You don't even know what number I am. Well, you put it on private for a reason. Whatever. Hey babe, what number did you get? Doesn't matter. No, it's important. You have to tell me. I got a 2. Ew, we need to break up. Hey honey, how was school? Yeah, good. How about your number? I kept mine private. You do know that all numbers are going public tomorrow, right? What? Which colour are you hoping hey, for? I won't accept anything else. Hey, yeah, hey, no, you don't understand. I have to be pink. Sorry, it's already been decided. You know Can't you just let it slide? Nope, now get moving. <sighs> Time for makeup. Makeup. This isn't me. You cannot do that. Um, that's it. You're eliminated. Come with us now. I mean, at least it's not on zero. How many questions did you get? Three. Only? I mean, it's not that bad. Some people are getting zero. How many did you get? 36. Whoa. Sorry, Miss Popular. Ugh, I need help with this question. I'll help you. Really? Yeah. Which one are you stuck on? Thank you so much. Anytime. My number just went up. I guess I just have to be nicer to people.
Whoa, it went up again? But I haven't spoken to anyone. Hey, I was wondering if you want to go on a date with me. Don't talk to her, she's mine. What's going on? Why is everyone staring at Amara, you have to take a look at this. Nat, can you drive me to school? I'm almost late. I can't, honey. I'm almost late for work. Please, I owe you three favors. <sighs> All right, fine. Thanks. Okay, class, bring out your calculators. We're going to be doing a math step. <sighs> Shoot, I forgot to bring a calculator. Hey, Lily, do you have a spare calculator? Yeah, but you're going to have to owe me five favors. Five favors? Why so many? Do you want it or not? <sighs> fine. Wait, is that girl wearing the same top as me? That's so embarrassing. Look, I'll owe you three favors if you switch clothes with me. All right, fine by me. Just a reminder that everyone needs to have zero favors owed in order to graduate next week. Next week? Graduation is next week? Yeah, you didn't know. I forgot. I need to pay back my favors. My daughter's so dumb, you can easily lie to her. What did you lie about? I told her it was a love percentage, but it's actually a hate percentage. Mom! Honey, what are you doing here? I thought you were at You school. lied to me. Now, because of you, I've lost all my friends at school and I broke up with my boyfriend. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. No, no, you're not. Why do you hate me so much? Because you're a spoiled little brat. What kind of a mother hates her own child? I'm not your real mom. What? Your dad cheated on me and your real mom wasn't ready to raise you. So your dad left you here with me. He's always traveling for work and I've had to raise you all on my own. Is that why you hate me? I hate you because I haven't been able to live my life how I was supposed to. I lost my job because I had to take care of you. Well, I'm sorry I was such a headache to you. Hey. What do you want? I'm sorry for what I said yesterday. You called me fake. I know, but it was all a misunderstanding. Will you forgive me? Babe, I made you breakfast. Aw, thanks. Leave. You need to leave right now. Did you just say something? I said I made you breakfast. No, after that. I didn't say anything after that. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just remembered actually. I need to go visit my mom. Thanks for the breakfast though. Hey mom, can I sleep here for a few nights? Of course you can. Thank you. Go to the basement. Who said that? Hello? Okay, this is definitely not normal. Mom, I'm just going to the basement real quick. No, don't. Why? Because it's messy. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going crazy. Bye, Mom. I'm going back to my boyfriend's house. Don't leave. Do not leave. I keep hearing these voices in your head. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this before, but... Do you have big boobs? Excuse me? So you're that type of guy? No, I don't. Get used to it. Hey, what did your soulmate ask Honestly, you? Honestly, I don't even want to talk about it. My soulmate asked me for my favorite color. Cute. At least you have a proper soulmate. Are you, like, pretty? What is your problem? Is that all you care about? Yeah. You know what? Just stop talking to me, will you? Give me your number. No. Why? Ask me nicely and maybe I'll consider it. Can I please have your number? It was nice talking to you again, Josh. Uh, what are you doing? You're not allowed to talk to other boys. <sighs> What's up? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm grabbing a coffee. Can I have a caramel frappuccino? Give me a second. I gotta serve this ugly bitch. She's not answering her phone. Wait. But if I go, I'll lose out on a million. I'll just wait. Maybe she's busy or her phone is out of battery. I'm sorry your friend left on your birthday, honey. But here's a gift. I hope it will make you feel better. Thanks, mum. Hey, Amara, have you seen Mia? Not since yesterday. She ditched me on my birthday. Apparently, she never went home yesterday and her parents reported her as missing. What? Hey, how was school? Don't even try. Where's Mia? What do you mean? I told you. No, you told me she went home and she clearly didn't. She's missing. How am I supposed to know? Maybe she got lost or something. She lives five minutes away from here. Well, maybe she got kidnapped. I don't know. She's lying. I know it. I have no other choice but to go and then check. Hey honey, can you tell me what your mom's favorite color is? Pink! And her name is... What are you two doing? Mommy, daddy was just asking me what your name was. He did? No honey, we were just playing a game. Of course I know what your name is. Then what is it? Um... Mommy, is daddy leaving us? Yes honey, he's going to find somewhere else to live. But why? You're too young to understand. It's time to sleep, come on. 
Hey babe, what's my name? Jake, what's mine? Amara, we still going out for dinner tonight? Yeah, of course. Great, be ready by seven. I will. Love you. Love you too. He's one hour late. He said he'll be here by now. Sorry, babe, I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. What? Why not? I'm just with some friends. I'll call you back later. Okay, love you, Jake. Love you too, babe. You didn't say my name. You still have a mark on your face. I can't even remember what it's for. Well, figure it out if you want your interview. Hey, didn't I promise I'd help you with your driving lessons the other day? You said you would, but you didn't promise. I remember promising you that I would borrow you my dress for your birthday, so here it is. You didn't promise, but thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. How am I supposed to remember what promise I made? I've made like so many throughout my life. It's okay, sis. You're going to be fine. The doctors are here to take care of you. Are you sure I'm not going to die? You're not going to die. You're going to feel so much better soon. Promise? I promise. Best friends forever? Forever. Okay, class, so as many of you know, we're gonna have to close school because of COVID. Does that mean no school? School will take place online starting tomorrow. Hey! Oh, hey. What's up? You haven't been answering any of my calls. I've been busy. Where's Emma and Jenny? Oh, we're not friends anymore. This is so weird. Nothing feels the same anymore. Being the main character can be dangerous, especially if you ended up in the wrong story. Hey, am I still seeing you at 8? Okay, um, I'm gonna go now. Have fun on your date. She's just overreacting, right? I just need to find out what story I'm in. Oh, hey! You ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. Wait, um, so where are we going? It's a surprise. What, like a good surprise or a bad one? Both. Let's go. Hey, do you know what story we're in? Yeah, don't you? No. Nope. You'll find out soon. What is this place? Why does it smell like that? Is someone trapped in there? We have to help them. That's not how it works. How's that even possible? All I did was help an old lady cross the road. This has to be a mistake. I'm home. I see you received your name. Well done, honey. I knew you wouldn't disappoint us. Thanks, mom, but I really don't think I deserve that name. Of course you do. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been given to you. Amara, there's mail for you. Uh, mail for me? I never get any mail. Coming. Mail for Amara? Yeah, that's me. Here you go. Jesus. Thank you. Let's see what this is. As a thank you for helping me cross the street. I wanted to invite you to our palace for dinner tomorrow. Palace? She lives in a palace? Mum, you know that old lady I helped cross the road yesterday? She sent me this letter. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Amara, that's the... What? Who is it? Still looks like a 10 to me. <gasps> Why isn't it coming off? Anyways, you can stay in this class since you're a 10. <sighs> this is karma for faking my number, isn't it? Wait. I can just fake my number again. All I need is something to cover the zero. There. I'm such a genius. Wasn't your number just 10? No, you must be hallucinating or something. I swear I just saw you had a 10. Well, clearly not. It's a 1. Did you guys hear about the number thing? Apparently 10 means ugly and 1 means the prettiest. Yeah, I'm so glad I got a 3 now. I thought I was ugly. Hey, Amara, do you want to join the rest of us for lunch? We all got a 1. Yeah, sure. Uh-oh, looks like it's starting to rain. Rain? Oh no, I need to go. Wait, did you fake your number? It looks like a 10. No, I... Sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. Not because of your number, but because you're a liar. How's the prince doing? I'm doing fine. Come, let's go prove them wrong. What are you going to prove? I'm going to prove to them that I'm your soulmate. Come, let's go. There they are, the fake prince and his soulmate. How on earth are the two princes? I already told you, the person next to you isn't the real prince. I am the real prince. That one there is just trying to pretend so that he can become the next king. Don't lie, you set up a trap, but thankfully Amara helped me. How about we ask father who the next king will be? I agree. I agree too, we all know my soulmate will be the next king. I knew you were on this with him, but it's okay, let's see who's gonna win. Your Majesty, we need to take care of the king. And why are you saying this? I'm afraid they're going to do something to him. Your twin brother really wants to be king and take your throne. Don't worry, I'm going to introduce you to the king. 
I would like to announce that the son that will take over my throne is... Hey, where are you guys going? Shopping. Can I come? Of course not. Have you seen your bank account? <sighs> I need to get a job. Hey, what can I get for you? Can I have a large pizza and some chicken wings? Sure, that'll be £20. Here you go. Amara, I need to talk to you real quick. What's up? I'm firing you. Firing me for what? Did I do something wrong? No, I'm firing you because you're too broke. That doesn't make any sense. I'm working to not be broke. Isn't that the whole point of getting a job? I don't care. Pack your stuff and leave now. Hey honey, how was work? I got fired because I'm too broke. You got fired? Get out of my what? house. Are you seriously kicking me out? Yes, leave now. Hey, I have an appointment at 2.30. Come on in. How can I help you? I need money. Okay, do you have any past things that might get you a loss? I got fired from my job for being too broke. This loss is going to get you a lot of money. Let's begin. The odds of being attacked by a shark? One in four million. The odds of a woman being raped? One in six. Your fear of sharks is seen as normal, but women's fear of men is delusional. We all know that it's not a man. We all know that it's not a man. But it's some of them, so we hold our breath, baby, nonetheless. Amara, did you break the TV? No, it was Emily that did it. She's lying. Show me your arm. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Emily, you're grounded. How do you not have a single mark? There's no way you haven't lied before. Oh, I lie all the time, except I don't get any marks. You're so lucky. I know, but don't tell anyone. Why would you kiss my boyfriend? I didn't kiss your boyfriend. Look, no marks. You're right, I'm sorry. You got all the questions right. Are you sure you didn't cheat? Of course not. She's telling the truth. She has no marks on her Yeah, arm. see for yourself. Oh, my bad then. Officer, I've never seen this guy in my life. Well, there's only one way we'll find out if you're telling the truth. Get me the lie detector test. Why would you need that? We just found out that some people don't get marks when they lie, so we just want to make sure. I, uh, I'll be right back. Mom, which one should I choose? Honey, choose Mafia. But the Mafia's dad's job, right? Yes, but Mafia's a dangerous job, so no one can know. Okay. Kids, your task today is to tell me what your dad work says. But I can't tell him. So, what does your dad work at? Um, my dad's job is a security guard. What? You're just the daughter of a security guard? Aren't you ashamed of going to school here? Just because I can't say what my dad works says, I'm being bullied at school. I have to call dad. Hello? Dad? What's your dad supposed to do? He's just a security guard. Oh, so you're the one who's been bullying my daughter, right? My sister completed her task. We're rich now. That's so cool. I can't wait till I turn 16. Honey, can you get me the box that's in the basement? Dad, mom's busy. I can get it. No, don't go in there. I'll get it. Why? B because it's your birthday. You should relax. Okay. The basement. I've never been down there anyway, so it should be easy. Mia, are you still sleeping on mine today? No, sorry. Why? No offense, but your house is creepy and it always smells bad. Why didn't you tell me this before? Look, I promise I'll spray down the whole house with perfume. Just please calm, it's my birthday. Okay, fine. Mom, what's in the basement? Nothing, why? Because Mia said the house smells bad. She did? Thank you so much for coming, Mia. I'm gonna go get something, I'll be right back. Don't worry, honey, we'll take good care of her. I'm back. Where's Mia? She left. Really? She's not answering her phone. Lip gloss is my power. Money, mom. My power is x-ray vision. I got mine before Amara. Haha. <laughs> my power is teleportation. Do you know yours yet? No, I don't. What could my power be? Not mind reading. Maybe flying. Ouch. Definitely not flying. You should come to my party tonight. Loosen up a bit. Sure. Whoa! Hey, get down before you fall. Uh-oh. Here lies the body of... Oh my gosh, she's alive. Why don't you use your smile? Okay, fine. I'll tell you. Meet me at the bus stop. So, are you going to tell yeah, me? Yeah, wait, we need to take the bus first. Why? Is it like a top secret you don't want anyone to know about? What? No, I'm going to show you something. Where? Out of town? Oh my gosh, you asked too many questions. Just be quiet. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet now? No. 
Are we? Shut up. We're here. Follow me. Why we're at hospital? Because there's something I want to show you. Now can you tell me why you don't use your smile? You see that room right there? My sister used to be in that room. She never used to get that many smiles and people used to bully her for it. Really? Yeah. Before she passed away, I promised myself I would save all my smiles so that all the kids here would have the chance to smile. That's awesome. You're like the coolest person I know. Thank you. Oh, it's my birthday! <laughs> Ta-da!